Welcome to the Armchair Adventures Travel Agency, Journeys of the Imagination. I'm head travel agent and host, Connie. Good evening, good afternoon, wherever you're listening from, adventurers. The voices of today's joining adventurers are... Max, Henry, Wait, Alvahi, Lily, Harry, Amelia, Hunter, Isaac, Maya, Sophie, Artem, Machine, Daniel, Devon, Kobe, Jaden, Grace, Maggie, Ivan. Hi, everyone. Hi, Bonnie. I promised that I'd read out some more reviews that you've left for us on Apple Podcasts, and we have had quite a few. Adore said, these podcasts are good fun. Both of our grandchildren enjoyed them. Thanks, Adore. Lid MSKFFM said, I love armchair adventures. It's so fun. You can listen to it with your friends and family. Lila has sent us a lovely review too. She said, this is amazing. I went to the workshop. My favourite part was getting to make up your own adventures. My adventure was about a magic bike. I would highly recommend as it's so much fun. Thanks so much, Lila, and I'm really pleased you enjoyed our workshop. A bike adventure, eh? Hmm, that's given me some ideas. Don't forget that you can leave us a review to Adventurer on Apple Podcasts, and we'll read out some more next time. Anyway, on this week's episode, we're going on an adventure with... Drum roll, please. It's Steve. Hello, Steve. How are you doing? I'm great, thanks, Connie. I've been looking through some old photos of when I went to Nepal and flew over Mount Everest. Whoa, what was it like? Oh, it was brilliant, Connie. We rode elephants and went on big exploring walks, trekking around and seeing new things. Sounds amazing. It was. I love a big active adventure holiday. I always wanted to climb Everest, but it's a bit late for me now, so sometimes... I use my imagination to do it. That's so cool. I can't imagine going on holiday and being so active, Steve. You can't get me off a sun lounger. What? You don't even go in the pool? Not really. Maybe you should try it out next time. Mm, Maybe. What else is in your photo album, Steve? Uh, There are loads of pictures from me and my teammates from my football days. I loved playing for that side. We had such a laugh working together. And we won a lot of games, too. Sounds fun. It really was. It's great knowing you've got people on your side working together as one. Sorry to interrupt, Steve, but I just have to get this. No problem. Hiya, Sora. It's my cousin, Sora. No, no, I'm not going to do it. I just don't enjoy it. No, no, I'd be letting everyone down if I did do it. Please don't be mad with me. I'll be cheering you on. Oh, Sora? Oh, she's hung up on me. Oh, dear. What was all that about? I've pulled out of sports day at school with my friends. It's really not my thing at all, and now Sora sounds pretty mad with me. Why do you feel like that, Connie? I just don't enjoy sports and competition. I never have. Everyone getting angry and loud, not to mention the horrible burning feeling you get in your chest. You must enjoy some exercise, though, Connie. I don't mind reading about it. Does that count? Uh, Not really. I just love art, reading and creative stuff. I love to imagine the story in my head, building up the images. And believe me, I do a lot of movement in my imagination. Anyway, what kind of adventure do you fancy this time, Steve? Well, to be honest, Connie, I was about to tell you to grab your sports gear because me and the gang fancy some proper good exercise in this one. And here's me saying I don't like sports. Let's get the rest of the customers on the line and see if we can help you enjoy exercise. You could be missing out on a lot of fun with your friends. Hi, everyone. Hi, nice to see you. Hello, there. Hi, hello. Hi, uh. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? I'm feeling I'm great. Fine. Cheers. Oh, All then. good. Thanks. All the better for being All here. Good Ready to go. Looking forward to a big adventure. Steve said we were getting a bit of exercise in today. I've got my sweatbands and leotard on the go. I bought my javelin just in case. I'm dressed in my finest gear. My Ashton United football kit 
complete with whistle. Ronnie, oh, that would be us. What would you bring with you on a sporty adventure, adventurers? I take my water bottle, cricket bat, snacks, rugby kit, tennis stuff, football, first aid. I bring my lucky number seven shirt. Wow, they all sound great, adventurers. I'm sorry to break it to you, gang, but I'm not really one for exercise. Well, we all feel like that sometimes, Connie. Yeah, especially at our age. Yeah, like when your joints feel stiff. I'm like a tin man in the morning. I creak like a floorboard. Oh, my knees. Well, you can lose your confidence after a slip or a fall. Oh, yes, easily done. But most of the time, we love to get up and active. Too right. For me, exercise isn't just sports. I love going dancing to get my steps in. Definitely. I'm always up and about at the theatre and on long walks with me dog. Just because I'm not playing in the Premier League, I still get going at walking football. What exercise do you do to help keep you fit and active, adventurer? Gymnastics. Swimming. I love football. Go! Treadmill. I love dancing. Netball's my thing. I'm rubbish at that physical stuff. I've never won anything either, so that's proof it's not for me. It's not just about winning, Connie. Absolutely. Well, why don't we see if we can help change your mind? Grab your exercise gear. Because we're about to take you on an adventure. An adventure to compete in. The toughest. The muddiest. The scariest. The biggest obstacle course on Earth! Uh Uh-oh. Sounds intense. I'd better pack my best PE kit. PE kit? I was just in the kitchen. What have I missed? I'm wearing my best suit. (laughs) You daft romp, Cyril. You'll have to do it in your pants and vest now. Oh no! You really weren't joking, Steve. This course is huge! Yeah, it's a proper event, this. Look at the big crowd of spectators marching in. There's big colourful flares being let off too. The colours are so bright. Blue, pink and green. There's even a DJ, a real party atmosphere. So many people with air holes. They're really loud. Not to worry, they know much of my whistle. Haha, <laughs> 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 take that. There's food vans too. Mmm, smell those onions sizzling. And just look at that course. And the other racers, they mean business. Exactly. I'm not sure about this gang. All those other races competing look so well prepared. They've got all the gear. They've definitely done a lot of training. Some of them are laughing with each other. Can't see anything funny about being here. Look at all the obstacles. They are absolutely massive. They certainly don't call it the biggest obstacle course on Earth for nothing. How would you feel looking at the biggest obstacle course on Earth, adventurers? It makes me feel worried. It makes me feel scared. My legs are shaking. I feel really excited. Let me at it. I can do it. I want to go home. Blooming heck. Look at that giant net you have to climb over first. It looks like a mini pyramid. I want me mummy. Oh, don't be daft. It's Connie doing it, not you, Ronnie. It was a joke. Pyramid, mummy, get it? Oh, forget it. And look at those giant hurdles. They look like massive railway bridges. And there's ten of them. Ten? How am I supposed to jump even one of them? They're taller than my Uncle Chris, and he's six foot five. And I hate to worry you, Connie, but there's more. Just past those is a giant mud-filled tunnel you have to crawl through. It's like a giant slide from a water park. And you drop into a huge muddy puddle at the end. Splash! But I'm in my best kit. It's the first time I've worn my new white trainers. Whoopsie. And it looks like there's more after that too. 
There's even more. Yes, and the ending's pretty clear. Look at the size of that wall. You have to climb to get to the finish line. Oh, the top of it might as well be in the clouds. Oh, no. I'm scared of heights, gang. I feel sick just looking out of my bedroom window. Oh, dear. What's that written on it as well, in big red letters? The wall of you. Oh, no. If I'd have known I'd have to climb a wall the size of a block of flats, I'd never have come. No time to worry about that now, love. The race is starting. Oh, listen. It's Uncle Chris doing the announcements from the commentary box. This is your one-minute warning. The biggest obstacle course on Earth... We'll begin shortly. Nope, nope, nope. Take me home, please, gang. I can't do it. I don't like sports day, never mind this. You can do it. We believe in you. But what can you say to encourage Connie adventurers? You can be brave. You can do it, Connie. You're the best. I believe in you, Connie. Believe in yourself. You can do it. You've got this. I know you can do it, Connie. Don't be scared, Connie. Don't worry, you can do it. Brilliant suggestions, everyone. Thanks for trying, but I think you've got the wrong, Connie. Now, come on, hang tough. You can do it. You've got this, Connie. I'm just going to give up now. Connie, I'll be your coach and support you through it. We've been on tons of adventures and we always come good in the end. Remember when we shrunk down to the size of a mini beast and escaped from a giant fox in the compost adventure? Force of pirates who were hiding behind magical doors in the cruise ship adventure. And we even survived meeting with a great white shark in the underwater adventure. As for this, this is just a plain old obstacle course. Trust me, Connie. You'll finish feeling great, and I bet you'll end up wanting to do Sports Day after all. I'm not so sure, Steve. Trust me, Connie. We've got this. You're in safe hands with Steve as your coach. OK, Steve. I trust you. Come on, then, gang. Let's get this over with. That's the spirit, Connie. You'll be you'll brilliant. Be great, you won't regret it, Connie. The things I do for my customers, eh? And don't forget, we'll all be here cheering you on from the sidelines. Thanks, everyone. Are you all set? Ready as I'll ever be. Take this too, Connie, for luck. What is it? The lucky sweatband, of course. Get it round your head. Um, thanks, Anne. What do you wear for luck, adventurer? My favourite lucky shoes. I wear the same pair of old socks. My favourite top. I wear my lucky necklace that my grandma gave me. My lucky football kit. I always score a goal when I wear it. They all sound great adventurers. I wish I'd thought of bringing something lucky along. Well, we will just have to be your good luck charm, Connie. Yeah, we'll bring you luck. lucky charm. We'll bring you luck like a human folly plover. Now give us your best warrior shout to get you going. You can give us more than that. Whoa, like a champion, Connie. Wow, I like this. I feel pumped and ready to go. Come on, adventurers at home, let's hear your best warrior roar. Whoa, thanks, adventurers. I'm feeling ready to go. Come on, everyone, let's do this. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the biggest obstacle course on Earth. There are ten races taking part today, and one is my niece Connie from the Armchair Adventures Travel Agency. Good luck competing in this one, Connie. Yeah, thanks for that, Uncle Chris. The race is about to begin. Make your way to the starting line, everyone, and may the toughest racer win. You've got this, Connie. Thanks, Coach. Here goes nothing. On your marks, get set, go! Everyone is approaching the first obstacle, the giant pyramid net. Wow, it's at least five times taller than most people. All of the races are storming over already like little spiders on a web. Let's all pretend to climb the pyramid net, adventurers. I'm like a spider, watch me go. You can't catch me. This is pretty tough. 
So that's nine races over the net already, and just one lagging behind. Oh dear, it's our Connie from the Armchair Adventures Travel Agency. Let's see what's happening on the ground. Uh, 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 I can't do this, everyone. Uh, you're already halfway up the net. You can do it. Go on, Connie. Keep going. Okay, I'll try. Is she waving at us? No, her legs have fallen through the net. And she's upside down. Oh, whoa, 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 no. Whoa, whoa. Oh dear, it's certainly looking ropey for Connie at the moment. Oh, Uncle Chris, that's worse than Ronnie's mummy joke. Hey, I heard that. Sorry. Before we carry on with our journey of the imagination, adventurers, here's another podcast that I love to listen to, and you might too. It's called Super Great Kids Stories. Now let's get back to the action, adventurers and see what obstacle I have to do next. After a quick glance at the leaderboard, I can see that the nine other races are almost at the end of the second obstacle, just as Connie is arriving at the beginning of it. Welcome to the Railway Bridge Hurdles. These hurdles are just like the ones at Sports Day, only they're built out of wood and three times the size. Jump to it, racers. Let's all pretend to jump the giant hurdles, adventurers. Give us a leg up, can't we? Climb up the side and jump over the side. <sighs> Any ideas on this one, gang? I can't reach anything to grab onto. You're going to have to climb up the side, Connie. Then shimmy over to the middle and pull yourself up and over it. Good idea, Steve. Treat it like the ropes in PE class. Right, OK, I'll try that. Uh, mm, uh, Have you got your eyes closed, Connie? Yeah, of course. I told you I'm scared of heights. It's dangerous. Oh, all right then. I'll look. Oh, no. No, no. I don't like it. She slid back down. Like a firefighter on a pole at the fire station. Only faster. Ouch. Shake it off, Connie. Up you get, come on. On to the next obstacle. Another challenging obstacle there for Connie. But at least she has a future in the fire service. Any thoughts, Steve? Well, I'd like to turn those hurdles into a bonfire, that's for sure. I'll just get my axe. Timber! Well, that's one way to clear the obstacle, Ronnie. We are approaching the halfway mark, adventurous, and what an incredible challenge is set before us. A tunnel of mud the size of a water park slide with a huge drop off at the end. Right into a big puddle of mud. Subalat! Why don't you splash through the muddy puddle, adventurous? Let's go! Oh, it's all over me. This is lunch. I'm off to see what's happened to Connie. Me too. Wait for me. Dramatic scenes here at the biggest obstacle course on Earth, adventurers. Steve and the rest of the Armchair Adventures gang have leaped from the sidelines and are approaching the Tunnel of Mud. I don't like the look of this. It's so dark. I can't see her in there. I do hope she's all right. Connie? Are you in there, love? What's happened? Oh no, she's not replying. What are we going to do? We'll have to go into the tunnel and get her. Come on, she's right here. Let's go in. Get her. Right then, into the tunnel we go, everyone. Oh, ever so muddy in here. You can barely stand up. I wish it brought me wellies. It's filling up my trainers. It's clogged me whistle and all. Listen. Oh, never mind all that. Come on, you lot. We've got to find Connie. Come on, adventurers. Crawl through the mud tunnel with us and help us find Connie. Ooh, it's proper muddy in here. It's going all over me. My pee kit's covered. Connie! Connie, can you hear us? Connie! Connie! Is that you, gang? What are you all doing here? I'm just a bit further down. I stopped for a rest and now I'm stuck in the mud. I can't get up. Can you help me? Right, Connie. Give me a hand. Everyone else, let's make a big daisy chain 
and pull Connie out of the mud. You two adventurers, let's all pull Connie out of the mud. One, two, three! Oh no, adventurers, from up here in the commentary box, I can still see no sign of Connie and the gang from the muddy drain pipe. And as the rest of the races storm into the next challenge... Wait, you'll never believe this. There's some shouting coming from the pipe. Whoa, Whoa this is our pool. Pool. Come on, gang. Oh, Bring those oh, in. Come oh, on, oh, Evo. Help us up, please, Mel. Can you help me up? Come on, get this mud out of your eyes. This is a right mess. Well, that was quite an exit, everyone. Thanks for the help. But I think you'll all agree it's time to put an end to this. Let's just go home. No, we can do this. No way are you giving up, Connie. We've come, come this far. Don't give up now. Come on, Connie, we're a team all together now. We can do this, Connie. Come on. No, I think I'm done here. Sorry, gang. Thanks for trying, but I'm covered in mud. I'm coming last, and I'm having zero fun doing this on my own. Let's just call it a day. Right, Connie. I'm going to stop you there. There's only one thing for it. As your coach, I'm going to muck in and do this with you. No, Steve, I can't ask you to do that. And me, forget my achy joints. I'll do it. Add me to the team. And me. Me too. And me. And me too. And me. And me. I can't ask you all to join in on this. We're gonna get through this together. But John, you're in your 90s. Don't underestimate us, Connie. Will Connie and the gang make it through the biggest obstacle course on earth? Will they get out of the giant muddy puddle and win the race? Who knows? I don't, but I do know you'll get all the answers and more when you tune in to the next exciting episode of Armchair Adventures. See you next time. On an armchair adventure You can go anywhere you like On an armchair adventure This episode was funded by Sport England Together Fund, supported by Greater Sport, and co-produced by members of Deepak Drishti Social Group and Age UK. Thank you.